Hello and welcome. I'm Russian from Oracle and I have with me Tom from Darling Ingredients. Hi Tom. Hello. So Tom, tell us about Darling Ingredients. What do you guys do? Darling Ingredients is the largest provider of sustainable natural ingredients for food, fuel, fertilizer. Awesome. So let's talk about this architecture that we have over here. And as I understand, you have EBS applications. You also have some third party applications running across three availability zones over uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure, correct? Yes, uh, we were moved our primary EBS development QA and UAT systems over to Oracle Cloud. We actually have uh, 14 EBS systems running across uh, three availability domains along with additional third party applications, uh, Hyperion, Vertex, uh, laboratory information systems. It's We did this in the Phoenix location. It has three availability domains. We, we distributed them on the three availability domains so that it would have some resiliency in case one of the availability domains went down, we could still continue to operate. In availability domain one, we have six VMs of 28 OCPUs of EBS application tiers, five database cloud systems to support it, block storage. In availability domain two, we have seven VMs with 20 OCPUs, EBS vertex application tiers, three database cloud systems supporting that with block storage. And in our third availability domain, we have 18 VMs and two bare metal servers with 113 OCPUs supporting EBS, Informatica, Hyperion, laboratory information systems, all the one-off bolt-ons. That's using five database cloud systems, block storage. And we chose this particular model because if any one availability domain goes down, we continue to operate. And then you still have your on-prem data center, correct? Yes, we have a production on-prem database system that we currently do nightly replication from production over to the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Um, that's facilitated to the 10 gig fast connect. It's a real speedy way of doing overnight replication. And if I understand correctly, you had a challenging situation where you had to move all the 33 VMs and the apps into uh, the cloud within like 48 hours? Well, yeah, we basically had 48 hours to move it. Our older system we were running on was a V-block that was actually running to fail. So was, instead of doing a CapEx, we started going to OpEx mount using Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We were, worked with the Oracle team over a 48 hour period to move uh, 14 EBS instances and all these other applications over within a weekend. Well, that was quite a task that you achieved in 48 hours. Indeed, it was rather intensive, but with the help of Oracle's cloud infrastructure, we got it accomplished, and it turned out rather well. Well, thank you so much for sharing your architecture thank with you. us. Thank you. And thank you for watching.